Hi, Chris Tommy Two Face Toys here, and welcome to another haul video. Now, I got quite a bundle here this week. Um, got some from different places. I got some bits from my mother-in-law, who always picks up some amazing bits from some charity shops. I got some bits from someone at work, which was pretty awesome. And then I went to some charity shops myself. So, without any further ado, let's get through it. So, this lady um, came to my work, and she knew I collect toys. Um, and buys and sells toys and she says I've got some toys for you um, and she brought these in pretty awesome um, this Star Trek Starfleet communicator which is pretty cool um, this is from what year is it from 2009 so it's about the time of the films and it does work because I did test it out but the batteries are going in it so very tempted to open this bad boy up. Pretty awesome. Um, yeah, shame it's not working on camera, but it does actually work because I've tested it out. And a bonus holster. Pretty cool. Um, definitely tempted to keep that one. And then I got Sulu from the newer film, Star Trek. Um, the one, the J.J. Abrams one. Pretty cool there. And there's the communicator there be cool to have the phaser and the tricorder as well. I have to try get all three of them now. I might have to pop those bad boys open. I do like a bit of Star Trek. So they're pretty cool. Um, and then I've got this awesome bundle of Monsters vs. Aliens figures on cards. Now they the cards have definitely seen better days but still pretty awesome and all the toys are in good condition. I've got four no, three sets <coughs> of the Missing Link and General W.R. Monger. So I've got three of those. I got... I think one of the Alien Clone Robot and Galaxar. So that's pretty cool. Three of Susan and Dr. Cockroach. These have definitely all seen better days, but still pretty cool. And then, finally, <clears throat> and this one's probably the best card out of the lot. Not bad, but it's still got a bit of bending to it. President Hathaway and Bob. Two of those. So I've got one complete set, and then a few extras. And I think that is all of them by the looks of it. So that is the whole set, which is pretty awesome. So that's really cool. So I've got those. So thank you very much, Michelle, for that. Um, really awesome. Really appreciate it. And then my mother-in-law picked me up a few bits, which is pretty cool. She picked me this SPD Power Ranger. Really cool one. And he works. This awesome Stormtrooper helmet. And this does work. Let me turn it on, see if it... That's really awesome and it's in really good nick. I was trying to find a date on it, but as usual with Disney, and this is a Disney version, so it's definitely a bit more modern, um, they never date anything. I don't know why, but that's how it is with Disney. They just don't bother dating anything. Is that gonna stay? That's gonna stay. <clears throat> and the last thing she got me was this awesome Venom hybrid figure. Really quality. That's really cool. Um, love the look of this guy. I've had this guy before and sold him. He is proper quality. Really like the look and everything is nice and tacked. Not too much wear to the ends because they do get quite a bit of wear, but looks great. It's really cool about that. Thank you very much, Penny, again. Really awesome. <clears throat> and then some bits that I found in the charity shops. So I found a Princess Cadence Builder Bear from My Little Pony G4. Really good condition, just slightly matty the hair there. But really cool. In fact, let me get some of these Monsters vs. Aliens out of the way and I can show some bits a bit better. Come on, blimey. It's going everywhere. Stick Venom over there. You can stay over there. Right, that's a bit better. <clears throat> so there's that. They're quite big, these Builder Bears, and they can do okay, these. So, yeah, 
There's the Builder Bear tag. Really cool picking her up. Um, I'll put a long one out. Um, what else should I get? And then I got these cool things. Really good condition. They're pristine. Shame to only have the one type, but from a charity shop. Yeah, from a charity shop for Monchichi figures. Um, Willow. Um, really cool. They're in great condition. Really lovely. I mean, the card is pristine. So they're basically brand spanking you, and they were a proper steal. So that was awesome. Really cool to get those. And I've seen that they go for like about 10 quid, or maybe a bit less, but even if I make a fiver on all of them, um, pretty awesome. Then I picked up this random little bag of bits. Um, some of these, but they do have the accessories, the Treasure X figures. Got this bag for two quid, and I got, oh, wow, everything's falling over. Um, let's move some of these out, they're not very, seem to be a bit top heavy. Really cool, um, I've got this guy, he's like a sort of, I think this is a witch doctor or something like that, or a witch, and got a shield. Um, then I've got this guy here, and there's this weird sort of accessory here, like a staff, and this cup thing, I think that goes with this witch. And a random little deer, I don't know what that is. And I've got this weird crab as well, I don't know what that goes with, so if anybody knows, please drop me a message down below. But that was pretty awesome. I then picked up another random bag of accessories, which is always great to find accessories, because you can find some gold in there sometimes. I saw one thing I wanted, which was this Chapmay accessory there, which is sunken treasure, part of a ship, really awesome. And then there's loads of other bits, there's loads of um, these, uh, God, gone completely blank, what's his name, Action Man um, accessories, loads of those, but the one thing that really did jump out at me, apart from the chat may, was this helmet, anybody recognise it? Bikermise from Mars and it's from Modo and it's um, Sand Slamming Modo, really awesome, so well chuffed to see that in there, so that was well worth picking that bag up. And there's some other little bits in here, so I can't wait to have a little route around in that. Again, always good to pick up some accessories. Then another thing for my collection, along with that sunken treasure, is this Dino Valley Chapmay helicopter. Really awesome. Really cool. There's a Chapmay mark. Um, it's got his gun still underneath, which is really good to have. So I cannot wait to get... I've got a little fighter pilot guy. I cannot wait to put him in there. He will look great on there. Try and also bend these back a bit by putting them in warm water because they seem to be knocking on the tail fin at the moment, but really quality, great find. And then the final item I got of the week, definitely the best item I picked up and a proper bargain. I got this awesome Pacific Rim battle damaged Jaeger Gypsy Gunner figure, really awesome. And he's got the damaged arm there and this, and he's even got his spare arm taped to his leg absolutely quality the detail on this guy and this is made by NECA so cool really awesome there's a NECA running on there legendary pictures really chuffed to pick this guy up he is so cool pretty awesome and he looks great so that is everything absolutely loads of stuff and a massive thank you to Michelle again and to Penny my mother-in-law for picking up some more bits absolutely amazing it's really appreciated. And then all the other bits, so cool. Glad to add this to my collection. Really cool. And the other chat made bits. And just great to pick loads of carded up stuff. Like, really crazy this week. Got loads of that sort of stuff. Amazing. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below on what are your favourite bits. What did you pick up during the weekend? I've noticed because of the mild weather, some car boots are starting to come back on, so that's really cool seeing some people's hauls on Instagram and stuff like that. Check out all my social media on down below, my Instagram, my Facebook, and my eBay. Thank you very much. Check out one of these two videos, and I'll see you next week.